Well, Brother Costas Kokinos was supposed to speak here today. But uh, Brother Costas had a, another invitation to meet with another, let's say, pastor of another kind of a church and explain to him the Word of God more perfectly this weekend. I said, well, under the circumstances, I suppose we can find somebody to fill in for you. And, and I didn't find anybody, so I felt, well, I'll just show up this weekend because I had to baptize these two pretty girls this morning, which was a surprise. I wasn't supposed to be here this weekend, but the Costas was filling in for me. And then when I heard there was going to be a baptism today, and we were going to have a birthday party today, and then we, somebody had to preach today, and I said, well, I'm just coming back to Athens for the weekend. Praise God. I did part of what God is doing in the world. Amen. So, uh, the help of the Lord, we'll try and preach today. We're so happy for Sister Faye. Yes, she can shower. The clothes. Huh? Chaka Shiro. Chaka Shiro. I hope you're shocked. I have a cowboy accent. I'm going to read the first book of Psalms today. My text. Six, six verses. Amen. So if you want to follow along, stand up in honor to the reading of the Word of God. A lot of people do that. I know you have a few stand up and others sit down. We can all stand up. Why don't we kind of read it together? Okay? I'm going to read it. Okay? One, two, three, let's go. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Blessed Lord, we ask you, God, to bless the ministry of the Word today. You've been here from just the beginning, even before service, oh God, right up to this moment, dear Jesus. Now, God, I pray that you administer through your Word and speak to the hearts of your people, God. Give us heavenly manna, dear Lord Jesus, we pray, because we are thirsty and we are hungry, Lord, for your Word to know you, dear God. Give us counsel, give us direction, give us admonition, give us edification, O oh God, through your word today. O oh God, as your minister today, I pray that you would hide me behind your cross and cover me with your blood. In that special way that you do, Lord, and let our words become spirit and life to your people, God. Hallelujah. Let us lift holy hands without wrath and without doubting today. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Today I am going to take a phrase from this passage of Scripture. <coughs> and it's going to be, and he shall be like a tree. The Lord was telling David, he said, we will be like trees. That is a good thing. Praise God. Trees are an amazing thing. Sometimes the only way you can understand there's a storm is because the trees are bending over. Praise God. 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 Praise God.
buyo ko. I've been through many hurricanes. Nagkaranas na, ako na maraming hurricane. Bagyo. Amen. In fact, I'm mesmerized by them. Minsan na nakalikaan ko ang... Uh, 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 and uh, tornadoes. At mga tornado. I study them. I probably would have loved to have been a meteorologist. Um, isang ginusto ko maging isang nag-aaral ng meteorologist. Na instead ay maging isang nagpangaral. But nonetheless, I I marvel at the thing called a tree. Unyata ko na mamangha sa tulad ng sinasabi ng isang pulong kamo. In fact, the wind blows a hundred miles an hour. Katulad na ito yung uh, tumatakbo ang hangin ng isang daang earth. Like at ang tupunang ito ay parang yun. And they will come up and they'll go back there. At ito ay tataas at ito ay tataas at tataas. But the storm passes. Ngunit ang bagyo ay daraan. Up pops the tree. Ayan tatayo ang isang bagyo. Hallelujah. Amen. Those that don't survive. Ang mga hindi na buhay. Or weak. Ay may hina. They were deformed. Sila ay nawawala sa ayos. They could not endure the storm. Hindi nila nakakayaman ng bagyo. But the but the healthy trees always endure the storm. Kundi ang mga malusog na puno ay kaya niyang lagpasan ng sinasabi. There's all kinds of trees. Malamig ibat iba ang klase ng puno ng ayos. And Sister Faye, she is a forestry major. She knows all about the trees. Alam ko daw ang mga pulong kahoy. At any house, she's going to say names of trees probably I've never heard of. They're Filipino trees probably. May sasabihin ako ng isang pangalan ng puno na maaaring ito ay puno sa Pilipinas. I'm going to talk about two, maybe three trees here. May sasabi ako ng dala o tatlong pulong kahoy. We all know the pesto, the pine tree. Alam natin ang sinasabing pulong kahoy ng pine. The pine tree grows fast. Ang pine, ang pine tree ay punong kahoy ng pine ay mabilis tulog tumaas. It's a soft wood. Ito ay malambot na kahoy. It breaks easy. Madali itong mapakli. Amen. And then there, and in the state we have what we call these giant trees. They're called redwood trees or sequoia trees. Sa states ay meron kami mga punong kahoy na matataas na tinatawag namin pulang punong kahoy. And some of those trees they cut out and a car can drive, actually drive through the trunk of the tree. Minsan ang mga punong ito ay binibigyan ng buta sa gitna in Lebanon, there are cedar trees there from old that there is actually a restaurant inside of a tree. Sa Lebanon ay mayroong siyang sasabihin nating restaurant na kung saan nandudon sila sa puno ng cedar. And I've spoken to missionary and personal friends that have been there. At nasabi ko yan sa mga ilang missionary na nakarating na doon. But uh, and then there are like oak trees. Ngunit meron din mga sinasabing puno kahoy ng oak. They are hard wood. Ito ay matitigas na klase ng kahoy. Amen. Now, a hardwood tree is more valuable than a softwood tree. Ang isang ta ang isang puno ng kahoy ay matigas ay sa sabi ng mas matibay kaysa sa isang malambot na klase ng puno kahoy. Now, if if I had an acre of land, Tessa does plan with that. Kung meron ako ng sukat ng isang lupa na and I planted it appropriately with pine trees. At tinamnan ko ito ng mga punong kahoy ng pine. In ten years. Sa salog ng sampung taon. Those trees would be worth fifty thousand dollars. Ang mga punong yun ay magkakahalaga ng limang pung libong. I just want to go home and grow some trees. So kaya uuwi na ako para magtanim ng mga punong kahoy. But if I take the same property. Kung ito kukuwari na ako ng ganon ding pagkaari-ari. And I plant hardwood trees. At magtatanim ako ng matigas na punong kahoy sa loob noon. In fifty years. Sa loob ng limang pung taon. Because they grow slower. Sa pagkatito ay mahinang tumubo. They would be worth over one million dollars. Ito ay makakahalaga ng isang milyong dolar yan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, a hardwood tree is a very valuable thing. So, ang masasabi natin ng isang puno na pagkas na puno ng kawa, ang masasabi natin ito ay mahalaga. A tree is one of the most resilient things in creation. Ang isang puno ng kawa, ang masasabi natin isang patuloy na naglumalago sa ating 
It grows more beautiful by the year. Ito ay magandang lumalagwa sa bawat taong dumaraan. It provides shelter and food for nagbibigay sa atin ang ating panira at pagkain other of God's creation. Sa, sa higit pa sa mga nilikha ng ating Panginoon. Amen. Amen. No man can save himself walang taong masasabing maligtas niya ang kanyang sarili but he needs to be planted by the waters. Na, na siya'y kailangang itanim sa ano ng isang tubigan. And see that we, we shall be like a tree Inahilig tulad tayo sa isang puno Planted by the waters Na itinanim na malapit sa tubig Hallelujah You plant a tree in the desert It's not going to grow Kung magtatanim ka ng isang puno Kaya sa loob ng isang disyerto But a tree has to be planted near the river Ngunit ang isang puno ay dapat maitanim na malapit sa isang The child of God needs to be planted near the river Ang isang anak ng Panginoon ay dapat maitanim na malapit sa isang Hebrews tells us to forsake not the assembling of ourselves near the river. But when we come together in the name of Jesus, the river flows. Amen. There's some song we sing about the river of God. There is a river. There is a river. There is a river. And the scripture in Ezekiel tells you it flows out from under the throne of God. It provides enough water for a a saint of God to grow. It provides enough water for you to wade in. It provides enough water for you to get in and take a bath. It provides enough water it says low to even swim in it. Hallelujah. Oh, that's what coming the crossroads is about. Amen. Amen. You can, you can wade and you can cleanse yourself and bathe. We come to the crossroads. We like to go swimming in the river of God. Hallelujah. There's a continuous supply. Isaiah 26 and 3 says this. I kind of paraphrase it. It says, Happy is the man whose mind is stayed on the Lord. Hallelujah. We keep God in our thoughts. Keep yes. God in our thinking. Keep yes. God in our daily yes. walking through life. We allow our, that's when we allow our thinking to get away from these things. Yes. And, 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 and then our, our, we, we begin to think about problems. Situation. We start seeing the situation in the world. And they, they stick to our thoughts. They get in our brain. And it weighs us down. And we lose our happiness. But when we keep our mind stayed on the Lord. Keep our mind stayed on the Lord. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on thee. Because he trusted in thee. Oh, hallelujah. Psalms 165. Uh, I forget the verse now. But it says, Perfect peace have they that love thy law and nothing shall offend them. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Let me preach a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing shall offend them. You know the strong trees. 
Alam nyo ang isang mat um, matibay na puno. The small trees, you, can, you look at them and you don't think about them having problems. Ang isang puno matibay, iisipin mo ito'y walang problema. You think you said, oh, they, they're always the same. You said, like, they're so blessed. Siya ay nakikita mong parang ganun din na at ito'y siya ay pinagpapala. But that's a, that's a false fault. That's a false fault. Hindi niya may akala. Because the Bible says it rains on the just and the unjust. Everybody gets problems that come their way. Everybody has trials and situations But they that do know their God, they whose mind has stayed on the Lord. Amen. They have peace in the midst of the storm. Peace have they that love my law, and nothing shall offend them. If you're offended, buck up. Hallelujah. If you're offended, be the strong tree. If you're offended, don't show it. Hallelujah. Whatever you do, don't show that you are offended. I could write a book of encyclopedias on all the fences. Offenses that come my way. Maring mabasa kong boy encyclopedia at sasabing ang mga offenses ay makikita ko sa akin. People insult me all the time. Iniinsulto ako ng mga tao. Hallelujah. They don't know that they've been so. Hindi nila alam na ako iniinsulto. They talk down to me and they don't, they're not, they're so dumb, they don't even know that they offended me. They said a bad thing to me. Sila nagsasalita sa akin, hindi nila alam na ako inasasaktan. Praise God. Purihin ang Panginoon. <laughs> You've got to learn to not be offended. <laughs> the Bible says that Jesus is the righteous judge. And Romans says, who can judge God's elect? That's Jesus' job and Jesus' business. And it doesn't matter what you say. Hallelujah. Jesus has the final word. Hallelujah. Every 
talk that would would gossip gossip is not so bad but I don't want none of that either but you go beyond the gossiping amen gossip is just like the, the starting the fire but after that the tongue gets started it becomes a hellfire you heard me Hallelujah. It becomes an instrument of the devil from hell. And I pray. I pray. That every tongue that is guilty of that. That that tongue be cursed. That that tongue be cursed. And God you take your holy presence from that vessel. I pray God as long as a person is gossiping, don't bless them in the spirit. Amen. Dry them up. Hallelujah. Let their tongue get disease. Let a cancer come on their tongue. Let their tongue turn back in its Hallelujah. If you are keep your mouth shut, I'll give you the gospel. I've got to get serious about this business. Amen. I was studying the Lord's Prayer some time ago. Ako'y nag-aaral sa uh, dalangin natin, Panginoon, nung mga ilang taong dumaan. As I began to read the Lord's Prayer. At habang binabasa ko ang, ang panalangin sa ating Panginoon. And the Lord gave us this prayer to pray. At binigyan na ito ng Panginoon upang ating ipanalangin. As a pattern. At isang halimbawa. And so he, he put this in my heart, gave me this understanding. Ito ay hiniligay niya sa aking puso upang ako'y makaunawa. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. In earth, as it is in heaven. Bang. Thy kingdom come. What is a kingdom? Does a king by himself make a kingdom? Does a throne sitting in a big palace make a kingdom? What does this verse say? Thy kingdom come. A kingdom Without subjects is no kingdom. There must be subjects in a kingdom. There have to be members in a kingdom to be a kingdom. Jesus Christ is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Understand with me here today. We are the kingdom. Amen. This is the kingdom. You are the kingdom. She is the kingdom. He is the kingdom. We are the kingdom. The black are in the kingdom. The brown are in the kingdom. The Lord of God enter in the kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All God's people are in the kingdom. The red, the blue. Years ago, we had a man from India come and preach here. First crossroads. And he said, Well, God. When he made all the men, he made all the people. He said the first batch came out 
Ako One. lang. Ako nang uh, dumating daw ay mga puti. And I said, Gabo, we better cook them again. Those are two lines. At sinabi niya, Gabriel, inuto natin siya muli. Sa pagkat ito ay masyado na mapugla. So I put it back in the oven. So binalik siya muli sa ako. No? He takes it out. Ilinabas siya. And he said, oops, we overdid it. They're all back. Oh, nasabra na naman ang uto. Nagigitin sila. So God started already made another batch. So siya muli ay nagluto. And they came out. And the priest says, like me, we're perfect. Praise God, but God, all God's children are a part of the kingdom. You've been bought by the blood of Jesus. You've been buried in the name of Jesus Christ. He's baptized you with the Holy Ghost. You are a member of the kingdom. Speak like that to somebody that God has picked them up out of the fiery clay. How can I talk about somebody that God has washed them in the, in the blood of Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. Set their feet on the higher rock to stay. Amen. Hallelujah. Baptize them with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. They didn't make them to be perfect. They're still human. But I want to tell you what, don't touch the apple of God's eye. My Father, in our heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom. Thy kingdom. I am playing God curse people that speak disparagingly and against other saints of God. I want you to either straighten up I want you to go somewhere else. I don't want you in this house. Oh! Hear me! You will destroy everything. You are a disease. You are like a cancer. If you don't control your Hallelujah. God in thy name, Jesus. Lord, such people teach them a lesson somehow. Teach them, Lord, to control their tongue. Teach them, Lord, to love their brother and their sister. So, Star, leave me 
ang isang daan upang ikaw ay If I hear or the word comes to me of anybody running somebody else down or gossiping against anything, you are subject to be brought to my office before your peers and we are going to have a straight talk with you. Kung ako ay makakarinig ng isang bagay na may sinabi kayo, uh, sasabihin dadalhin kayo sa aking opisina at pag-uusapan. I have people that are so dumb. Meron akong mga tanong. They will come to me and try and gossip. What are you doing, lady? Ano ginagawa mo, babae? That's not your business. Hindi mo yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. God help us, Jesus. We're trying to be excited and motivated today, but I tell you what. The reason we're blessed, we keep things straight. Righteousness. Righteousness. There's no way over here and way over there. Righteousness is yay, yay, and nay, nay. A little mercy here, a little mercy there. Hallelujah. But you can't walk away from righteousness and walk in your sins and your errors. So, we're going to stand for righteousness in this church. We're going to stand for godliness and holiness in this church. Amen. <laughs> Amen. There is no homosexual marriage in the Bible. Hallelujah. Homosexuality, the sin of Sodom, are going to hell if you're homosexual here today. I'm sorry. How many of you got in here? Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I'm just saying, uh, we have sister, sister, uh, Ali, she's been doing a good job. Amen. Amen. But he said, we need to be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Amen. Sister Janu stated last night in June. Chapter 20, verse 20. <laughs> It says, Beloved, building up your most holy faith, doing what? Pray in the Holy Ghost. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on the most holy faith, pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That's being next to the river. That's being by the river. Uh, Hallelujah. Ilo. The tree that's planted by the river will be strong and do exploits. It will bear fruit. It will show signs of living and life. Oh, hallelujah. And its leaves shall not wither. Amen. It will stand when the winds blow. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Brotherhood supersedes ego. I mean, just think about that. Brotherhood, unity, is higher and greater than my ego. Nothing wrong with ego. We all have ego. But we don't want to be egotists. But we think we're God. But our ego, we put in the proper place. And we submit it to be a part of the kingdom. Can I hear an amen? Praise God. 
There is only one happiness in life. That is to love and to be loved in return. That is happiness. Praise God. And when you're in the crossroads, we like happy. We are happy. We're going to be happy. We're going to stay happy. I'm happy. Are you happy? I'm happy because I feel like everybody loves me. And that's the way it should be. Everybody loves another. So you love me, I love you. Oh, how happy we will be. Hallelujah. I shot the sheriff. I didn't shoot no deputy. <laughs> but, amen. Hallelujah. I deputize everybody. If you hear gossip, you tell them. You're going to be in trouble with the sheriff. I'm a deputy. Now you can stop that and we'll, we'll pay no attention to it, but don't let me hear it again. I don't want to hear it. You don't need to be saying that. You need to change the way you talk. Amen. You can say some things differently. In an unoffensive manner. You know, like the guy said, that you have a face. That'll stop a clock. <laughs> 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 or he said, Oh, your face makes time stand. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's learn to be sweeter. Hallelujah. Bitterness and grudges. Ang sinasabi natin kapaitan or galit, they is, will kill you. Papatayin tayo dito. Some stains are harder to get out than other stains. Sinasabi natin yung yung mancha sa isa ay mahirap alisin ito. Women know this more than the men. Alam nito ng mga kababayan hindi sa kalalakihan. But if I'm chopping something or doing something in my kitchen, sa pagkakumero na kung tinatatad sa aking kusina, I can hear from the kitchen police. Don't do that there like that. Why? It's pretty. You'll stain the cabinet. Don't do that in the sink. Why? It's got water. It's got out there. It's a good place to wash. You are going to stain the sea. The light is going to be yellow. That's why when I go to the kitchen and operate, I make sure my wife is sick and dead. <laughs> She don't know what happened in the kitchen. <laughs> there was a true story that was told. In the great red forest of California. In the big trees. It's so big. One day, one of those big trees just unexpectedly just toppled over. And so they had to have an investigation and a study. Why did this big, beautiful tree fall down? 
Kaya nagkaroon ng isang malaking investigasyon na kung bakit ang konong ito ay natumba. So they began to cut out sections of the big tree. So bahagi-bahagi nilang pinutol ang napakalaking konong yun. And they had found that maybe 200 years before. At nakita nila na nakalip, nakalipas yung dalawang daang taon. The tree had been burnt severely. Nasasabi natin na yung punong yun ay matinding They have been burned. Ah, si Nuno. Si Nuno. Yes, so they, they don't know how it got put in the forest fire. So, maaaring nagkaroon na sinasabi, sunog sa buba. So they speculated maybe people was living there for a while and they made their fire next to the tree. Yeah, iniisip din nila na meron mga tao nagkaroon na nagsindi ng apoy doon. But it did a damage to that tree. Ito kayo nagkaroon ng kasiraan sa punong yun. And as the years went by, it began to cover up the damage. So dumaan so duma ng mahabang panahon, natakpan noon na sinasabing uh, yeah. pilat ng punong yun. But the scar was always in there. Ngunit ang pilat na yun ay naging nandudun pa rin. And it began to do its damage to the, the, the health of the tree. At yun ay yung tiyong ay nagkaroon ng kasiraan sa kalusugan ng punong yun. And then it's finally one day a little bird came and landed in the branch of the tree. Hanggang isang araw, meron dumating na isang ibon at dumapo sa puno. It was almost ready to fall anyhow. At ito ay halos babagsak na. But it could just be the weight of one little bird. At sasabi natin, isang bigat lamang ng isang ibon. That called that big tree. Na kung saan bumagsak ang puno ngayon. Hallelujah. And so it is with bitterness and scars and grudges. Ganun din sa sinasabi natin, galit, puot. You may cover them up. At atakpan nyo ito. You may... Look good to the natural eye. Maring nakita maganda kayo sa sa natural na mata. But you know what's in your heart. Kundi alam mo ano na sa iyo. You know that bitterness that you hold in your heart. Alam mo ano pa ito ng galit na sa iyo. You know that grudge that you have in your heart. Ang galit na nasa iyo puso. Maybe you don't want it, but you have not been able to get it out of your heart. Maring ayo nyo yun kundi hindi nyo ito inilalabas sa iyo puso. Generally, after the Civil War and the states came riding. By this plantation that had been burned down. Masasabi natin na kung sa nagkaroon sa isang taniman doon na nagkaroon ng suno. And the lady who owned the plantation was out by the road. At sasabi natin ang babae nag nag may may ari na o nai nandu doon sa isang daan. This plantation had many beautiful, beautiful old trees. Ang tatani man ay kay Marong, maraming maraming magagandang puno ng oak. She grew up playing rain around the roses around those trees. At ganun din nagtanim siya ng sinasabi nating mga rosa sa puno, sa paligid ng mga puno. But the army of the north came and burned everything to the ground. Ngunit ang isang sundalo ng mga ay sinunog ang lahat ng iyon. And all was left was the trunk of the tree and just a few naked branches. At masasabi lamang ang tubay, ang natira lamang doon ay ang katawan ng puno at ang mga ilang sanga. And General Lee, who was considered one of the more religious and gentle generals of the whole war. At sasabihin natin na kung sino ang sinasabi natin uh, doon sa, nagkar- sa gera niya on. He showed compassion in many occasions. Nagpakita siya ng uh, pagmamahal. But he was riding by this woman's plantation. At nandito siya sa plantasyon ng, ng babae niya. And she comes out and she said, General Lee! Sinabi niya na, Look what they have done to my beautiful tree! Tignan niyo kung anong ginawa nila sa aking magagandang puso. Just look what they have done! Tignan niyo kung anong kanilang ginawa. And he answered her. At sinagot siya nito. Cut it back. Putulin mo ito. Putulin ito. But it will just be a memory that will scar your life forever and then you've got to move forward, lady. Sa patatot ay magbibigay lang sa iyo ng alala. Get it out of your life. The source of any people's problem with their tongue is in their heart. There's a wound in there. There's a bitterness in there. There's a... And you probably don't even remember what caused it. At nari hindi niyo malalaman ko ano naging dahilan nito. Some people might think it's just one little word, like a little bird sitting on the branch that knocked that tree over. Mer, nari ito isang salita lang na katulad sa isang ibon na sinasabi natin. But the problem is bigger than that one word somebody said, because down inside, either there's a cancer that has eaten you up. You're you're dead on the inside. Hindi yun na hindi pa sa sinabi niya yun, nari. Itong nakasapit sa'yo, masasabing ikaw ay patay sa iyong uh, kalooban. But it's so much better to overcome. 
Kaya kung nakakaingit na ito ay malampasan. It's so much better to come back and join the land of the living and the loving. At yun ay sinabi mo pa ikaw sa sinasabing lugar na kung saan ang mga lang. It's so much better to be able to go to that brother and wrap your arms around him and say, I love you. Lumapit ka sa kapatiran niya ang kapit. I love you. I hold my grudges. Wala na akong galing sa inyo. I love you. Mahal ko. Sister, I love you. Hallelujah. I am buried all that behind me. Hallelujah. I want to be a part of the kingdom of God that loves me. If you need some love, come to Papa. Hallelujah. I'll give you a big hug. Hallelujah. We will love one another in crossroads. He is on this day. If you're coming from some other church, come here. You mean your gossip is coming out the door. Don't bring it inside of here. Shakespeare said, love comforted by the sunshine after right. Praise God. There's nothing like having the outpouring of the love of God's church upon you. We see in the altar so many times people that come here burdened broken feeling unloved and the saints of God this church are gathered around they put their arms around them and they pray with them and they encourage them to talk to Jesus Jesus can help them. And first of all, you know, their, 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 their faces light up with joy. They'll begin to speak in other tongues as the Spirit of God gives in the utterance. Hallelujah, because the love of God is coming. Praise God. I've got too much to say today. Wow, look how long I've been preaching. Look how long I've been preaching. I've been grateful of the other preachers preaching too long. <laughs> what can I say? I've got to finish up. I don't I can't finish up. Well, brothers and sisters, amen. When you stand for righteousness and you stand for good, there will be people that will try to pull you down. There will be people that try to get in your way. But just remember, Jesus stayed on the cross. He was on the cross. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's stand together. There was a time when tragedy came to my life. And all the church came. They began to share with me their love. They began to tell me nice things. I was just soaking in the love of God's church. It's so good to belong to the body. It's good to be part of the king. I'm part of the kingdom. We're part of the kingdom. It's so great when tragedy comes to your life. 
Sometimes you don't even notice the love of God. Until tragedy strikes. And then you find out that everybody loves me. I didn't know they liked me so much. I didn't know they cared about me so much. But in your tragedy, in your difficult hour, you find out Amen. how loved you are part of the kingdom of God. Let us pray.